Hey there, y'all. Disney D. Prince here today with another Mermaid High doll unboxing. So after recording a video yesterday, I realized I had this one and Oceana from series one, the initial release, <laughs> uh, that I still had in the box that I hadn't reviewed yet. Uh, I did pick these up. I did pick this one up at Target when they put things on sale. Um, I think I spent like like eight dollars. Like it was cheap. It was one of those like little like flash clearance sale things. But she's really cute. Her tail is really pretty. Uh, she's got a little like mini skirt also there, and some cute heels in there. And she's also got the little shell, which is actually like a laptop, which is fun. And some glasses, which aren't too bad. Uh, these dolls are almost on the same scale as uh, Monster High. Here is her UPC for anybody looking for her. And... They're very cute. They are semi-articulated. They're not perfect, which is why I don't buy them at full price. But they are really cute. And they're decently articulated dolls. But I like the mermaid tails because they're pretty stretchy most of the time. So I can use them for other doll brands. And this is uh, Sira. And she looks really cute. So let's open her up and see how she looks out of the box. I don't love how they box these uh, just because, oops, sorry about that y'all. It's not a great system to really have to pull off the plastic that's taped in there and it's just kind of a kind of a cluster. But here she is outside of her box. She looks really cute. Uh, no real lashes or anything like that. But she looks cute. And she does have a little like ID card or whatever down here. I'm gonna show you guys as I unbox her a little bit further. Oops, God, sorry for anybody getting whiplash. Uh, apparently she's got some socks that go in there also, and oh, that's kind of cute. Uh. <laughs> so she does have her uh, Mermaid High student ID, very cute, which again has the artwork with series one on it. And these are the little like socks I was telling you all about. Uh, and then of course she's got her little like instruction manual But let's start taking out the easy stuff, right? So the shoes come out pretty easy. They're pretty cute. These will most likely fit Rainbow High dolls. Uh, they're gonna open up a little bit in the back because rainbow high thighs are a little, or uh, calves are a little bit thicker than these dolls, but the feet are the same size, which is important. Uh, okay, we're gonna try to get our little skirt out. I'm surprised that wasn't held in there with the uh, staples, but it's just a cute little pleather skirt. It doesn't open all the way down the back, so it probably won't work with Rainbow High, but will most likely work on Barbie. But we, I feel like we've gotten a lot of these. Uh, this is a Spin Master doll, not MGA. So usually they uh, are really good quality with Spin Master, especially the bodies. The fact that these aren't fully articulated is a bit of a thorn in my side because they, 
because Spin Master is the company that brought us the Live Doll, which is honestly one of the best um, articulated, customizable dolls. And we just don't get very many like that, which is just unfortunate. But still very cute. We've got this cute little thing in here. This is actually a little, uh, little uh, mer computer thing. That's really fun. Um, I have shown it in some of my other uh, Mermaid High videos. Get some of these hair things looser, even though I'm going to have to just yank the head like I always do. There we go. Oh, of course I missed one right there. Okay, so she is pretty much free. I just have to get her tail loose now. She's got to shake a tail feather. All right. There is another more stupid staples holding her hair in a wave, which is always fun. Can't even really get to those staples to make sure they come out easily. Jeez. Okay, but we did get these to come off, and we'll just trim off the ends and let them come off a little more naturally. So here she is. This is Sarah, or Sarah. I'm not sure how you're supposed to actually pronounce it, but she's very cute. She's just got a hint of glitter. She's pretty well rooted, like not insanely thickly rooted or anything like that. Like, you can pretty easily see her scalp um, on this side, but I think that could also just be because of the way they styled her hair. But she's got a cute face. It reminds me a little bit of Ever After High dolls. Um, again, we've got the cute little bracelet, some articulated elbows and shoulders, cute little halter top. And then this is their lower leg, which isn't a great knee, but it's not bad. And these hips uh, really like are stiff the first time you put them on, uh, the first time you take them out, and you're gonna hear a pop and you're like, oh crap, did I break it? And I don't have an answer for that, because maybe. cute like that. And let's try on her weird little sock things, her stockings. It seems a little odd to include these, but we're gonna pop them on. And these are really close to her skin tone, which is a little weird in my opinion. Uh, but it still is cute. And so that's what that looks like, the shoes on. So it's very cute. It's a cute little outfit that she's got on. And there is still, of course, because it's a doll, a comb. The Spring Break dolls got rid of these combs, which is kind of surprising, normally doll brands hold on to those combs until the very end. Oh, and there's a hidden staple holding that purse on. I thought I didn't have one. It just held in retention. Uh, it's cute. It's just a solid block. It doesn't open, which is unfortunate. But 
she's really cute. She's got a long hair. But she is not actually made for like playing in the water, kind of surprisingly. Uh, these tails are not really swimsuit material or anything. But it's very cute. They do have the dorsal fin, which I like. Um, but yeah, so there's her sunglasses. Uh, they're a little big for Barbie and uh, too small for Rainbow High. But they probably work on Monster High dolls. So if you customize like that. And these are pretty pretty close to Monster High dolls as far as the the different um, bodies and things but I'm trying to do this without having to I don't understand how this little like water thing works like I know it actually works but like I don't want to put it in water to just like pop it open it's a weird gimmick but meh it's a laptop just trust me on that <laughs> Um, and check out my other Rainbow High series or Mermaid High series one if you want to see what the actual laptops look like because the only thing is it's a slightly different um, sticker on the inside but they're fun um, the clothes sometimes will fit most of the mermaid fins will because they're pretty stretchy um but the tops are really good for uh, Barbie and Rainbow High most of the time because they're all so stretchy. But it's not a definite fit on every doll, which is why it's always like, you know, are you going to have more stretchy material or are you going to have more... Uh, more fitted clothes but she looks really cute and then if you could just put her little sunglasses on she has had a wild night there we go and she's got her little purse ready to go but I love these fins. They're fun. Um, I kind of wish Barbie would give us more of these fins instead of just the molded, um, the, mar the molded mermaid tails. But she looks good. If you guys have any questions on these dolls, uh, leave them in the comments. But they're pretty straightforward. There's no real surprise aspect to it. The only surprise is the laptop that's in there, which is a weird surprise in my opinion which is why I think they dropped it from the spring break and they just put like a swimsuit underneath the tails but it's still cute um, kind of a pointless comb the bristles are too thin like they'll definitely break on a snag but it's still cute. It's on theme. If the bristles, if the bristles break, you uh, or the teeth because it's a comb. Uh, if the teeth break, you just trim them all off and just have a cool little shell decal to stick up somewhere. I don't know. Uh, so, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like, and as always, follow along for some more fun doll unboxings. All right, y'all. Be good. Bye.